rise. You can even get to rise. What is up, YouTube? Mental Oriental back with another video. As you guys can see, this is a class set of video for the assault rifle Man of War. Now, this assault rifle is an absolute fucking beast if it's partnered with the right attachments. Now, this gun, for every positive, there's also negatives. This negative for this gun is its fire rate and its medium to high recoil. Now, I uh, will be getting into the attachments, but first I want to talk about optics. Optics is completely up to you. I personally like using the ELO because it does give me a peripheral from the outside. It doesn't obstruct your view like a lot of the other sites do. do. Um, so I like using the ELO site for that reason. Now, the first attachment I'll be talking about is grip. Now, grip helps you manage the recoil. It doesn't make it shoot straight as narrow. You do need to, you know, kind of ma um, master the recoil for this gun. But once you do, it makes it an absolute beast. Now, grip allows you to help manage the recoil, but it is not taken away completely. The second attachment I'll be using is rapid fire. The other downfall to this gun is its fire rate. So this kind of brings up the fire rate to match the damage, which makes this gun an absolute beast. These two attachments alone is awesome for this gun. And the third attachment stock isn't necessary, but I like to use it anyways, because I do have a habit of strafing left and right to get my aim on the point. So I use stock for that reason and that sole reason only. But you do not use to have stock. You can use, you can switch it out for a perk three greed and use another perk three, or switch it for a lethal and a secondary. Completely up to you. But for this class, I'm not using secondary or lethal. I can pick up a gun in a match, and that'll be that. Because this gun only has 90 ammo capacity with 30 rounds in the magazine, but with rapid fire that burns through ammo quickly. Trust and believe that. Um, I am using a tactical, however, I'm using a tactical, you know, to check rooms, to check corners. If you're playing the objective, you can stun people on the objective that aren't using tack mass to help your enemies come in and sweep out the people that is on the objective. Now for the perk one, um, I am using six cents. Six cents, as you all know, lights up your indication on your mini map, allows you a fan to show where your enemy is coming from. If they're on the same level as you, if they are below or above you, it will give you a solid red bar on either side of the box on your minimap. Perk 2, I'll be using fast hands. As you can see, we're not using quick draw, so fast hands allows you to bring up your gun while ADSing that much faster after sprinting. It allows you switching to your weapon that you pick up a lot quicker. Now, perk 3, I'll be using gung ho. Gung ho is for those close quarter combat gunfights. It allows you to hip fire your weapon quicker after sprinting. So um, this as this class setup will you guys will really see in the gameplay. It does make a big difference on why I choose these gun on um, these perks and how they help me in matches. Now um, this mat this class is not so much for rushing as you all know. This is more for a laid back picking off players at long distances. Um, however, you can and shouldn't be afraid to go medium to close range as this gun is very, very deadly medium to close range. So, without further ado, check you guys out at the gameplay. Aloha. Alright, YouTube. Welcome back to the gameplay. Let's go ahead and start with being free-for-all on the map Nuketown using the Man of War. Um, I did add two more slots to my creator class. I added Scavenger just for the sole reason because I want to use the Man of War and the Man of War only. I don't want to be picking up guns you know i just don't want to be doing that when this gun this whole video is supposed to be about fucking man of war that's the reason why if you guys see scavenger in the class that's the reason why i have scavenger on um yeah so i do apologize if there is silence this is my first live commentary while doing a, on the gameplay talking so if this video doesn't make complete fucking sense i'm so sorry but we will be do using the man of war let's see if we can kind of turn around and kill this guy right behind us um i'll try to go flawless for you guys but these bots are fucking they're pretty badass regardless what level they're on they're fucking good they're way better than black ops 2 bots and there we go kill right off the bat let's throw a flash we got a hit marker oh god all right Nice little three piece. God, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We know who doesn't have six cents. All right, so. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see if we can get a long shot. As you guys can see, the recoil is very manageable on this gun. 
and let's see if I can get some strafe strafe kills in there as well. As you guys can see, I'll be able to track that that target because I have um what do you call that stock on. Uh, yeah. So let's take this. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! That is fucking horseshit. God, I hate fucking live commentaries. This shit. Oh man. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? This live commentary bullshit is out. I'm gonna be fucking pre recording videos and then posting the videos I wanna fucking post. That way I don't embarrass myself. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh god. What was that, a 205 Barecki or whatever that killed me? That is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Keep an eye on the fucking score here. Let's go pick up the two piece. Come on, come back. Oh, no, you didn't come back. Wow, I'm surprised. You're dead. All right. Take that. Oh. Oh, where the fuck was I going on that one? Let's do a jump shot. All right, all right. I don't know. I just, I just don't want my glitch to go to waste. Alright, oh, this guy is AFK right here, AFK or AFC, take him out, going for a Ruthless, um, oh, you're dead, let's see if we can do a jump shot again, there it is, as you guys will see when I get my scuff controller, those types of shots are so much easier, and that is the fucking game, 30 and 1, due to that bullshit fucking kill, I don't fucking believe that shit. Well guys, as you guys can see, the grip is, makes the recoil very manageable. The rapid fire increases the fire rate because it is a downfall in this gudge originally. Um, the stock, I did do some, you know, following enemies as they're moving. The stocks does help out a lot with that. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on this class setup or if you guys want to see more class setups, please comment below. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. I try to post videos every day. If it's not Black Ops 3 content, I try to make it a vlog or just something to keep you guys, you know, wanting more. Um, I got to update my scuff control. It should be here on Wednesday. I'll be doing an unboxing on that. I hope you guys will enjoy that. You guys will enjoy that. I guarantee you that. But um, until next time, guys, I hope you liked the video. Please hit a like if you did. Um, all right. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Mental Oriental out. Aloha.